record this for you. Um, we will make sure we let our hubbies listen into this call too, or we'll make them go. We won't give them a choice. Men love so. listening to women. You what? <laughs> what do you say? Men love to listen to women. He's kidding. Yes. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We just started a Bible well, okay. So Natalie's husband was Natalie's on here. Her husband was at leaders retreat this year and he like caught the vision at leaders retreat. He's like all in now. So that is proof that like, I love when Plexus does the men of Plexus meetings at convention too. I love that. Yeah. He was so, speaking that one too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I am excited you guys are on with us tonight. Um, you guys are just going to share like some of your testimony, your health. You have a really good health testimony as well as financial, but you guys are also really good at hyping people up. So we want you guys to hype us up. Our team ended up with what I say, Marissa, it was like 26 promotions last month. We had a huge month. It was really good for our team. So we want to keep that momentum going. So you guys are perfect to oh. pick us up for the month of may so take it away start, right at the beginning right <laughs> yes thank you we are on so yeah i know you said like we could just sum up our testimonies business and health and then i did take some notes on some stuff that you know we like to talk about do you want to start or do you want me to start Whatever you want to do, okay. Well, I guess I started in Plexus first, so I'll start. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and make this fast because my health testimony was pretty big. Um, I was a counselor. Um, I became a counselor because I tried to understand depression and anxiety my whole life. Um, at 10 years after being a counselor, I could not figure out. I mean, I was a great counselor, but there was something missing, you know, that you're missing something out of the deck of cards. And so I would still go into depression and anxiety and I was a super fun outgoing person. So that was like, you know, what is this? Well, um, at 37 years old, I had one of those like famous rock bottom years that, you know, God's working so big because everything's going wrong. <laughs> so my sister died of colon cancer. She was the healthiest person I knew. So I looked at her going, what is health if she just died and left my nieces with no mom, followed by a horseback riding accident where I was told I wouldn't hold my daughter without all these surgeries. I already had gotten, I went from being a really healthy, good looking person in my twenties to now, you know, I'm in my thirties, late thirties with a five-year-old daughter. I didn't even want to get up and play with. I had no energy. I felt like crap. I was tired. I used to tell everybody that would listen that I thought I was 80 years old. And I was like, if I feel like I'm 80 now, what am I going to feel like at 80? Right. My IBS, my allergies, I, I can say non-compliant things, right? Because this is just a call. All right. My IBS, my allergies, everything was so out of whack. I was in the hospital every month. My face would swell shut. My ex-husband used to laugh at me and tell me I couldn't leave him because I couldn't go to Walmart without running to the bathroom five times, you know? Um, so I got to a point that being in the hospital for 10 days, I literally kept telling and this is crazy because I just had the nurse I met reach out to me and said, eight years I've been watching your journey because you kept telling me that God was working and something huge was going to happen in your life. So I got out and I got into three months of prayer, crying and praying. That's all I did. My ex-husband would be like, you ever going to get off your knees? I'm like, God is faithful. God is good. I know I have a purpose of helping people. So I need to figure out how to help myself so that I can help others. Well, after about three months, he came home. And he said, let's have a talk. And, you know, I thought we were getting divorced. He said, let's take these products. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Sure. Some of you have heard a story similar. Like I laughed in his face. He called my cupboard already the million dollar cupboard. I knew how much supplements cost. I knew how to work out. I knew how to eat right, but I ended up overweight on the couch and I could lose weight, but then I would like eat a donut and gain it back, you know? But I also was, he was always complaining. I would go to GNC and spend $300 every day, you know? So he's like, no, no, my friend posted about this on Facebook. And I'm like, okay, your friend posted. He goes, no, I trust them. I went to high school with them. You're going to try this. So I'm not going to lie, guys. I got on there and I ordered like the boost, the block and the accelerator. And he goes, no, 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 you're going to do the triplex. You need your gut healthy. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. If you say it, like he had never done anything healthy in his life. So I'm like, I'll do whatever you're doing. I swear, and, and this was really bad for my business in the beginning, because in one day I felt a difference. <laughs> like I literally woke up the next day and I'm like, I slept great. I've got energy and I love. It. So I went from this skeptical person to just being so happy. Well, 
I had one of those really fast stories and testimonies, which wasn't necessarily good because I used to tell people it worked overnight, which it does not, you know, (laughs) everyone knows that. Um, But I went from overweight on the couch to a pro fitness competitor within nine months. I literally within that month saw my muscles, my body was changing, but more importantly, over the months to come, my allergies, my IBS went away, my pain went away. I went to my doctor and he's like, I don't know why you don't need surgery. I don't know why you don't need physical therapy anymore. I have no explanation for this. I went on to do fitness doing backflips. Like I miss Michigan for fitness, like doing the backflips on stage. I'm 45 years old. I feel like I'm 21. He's only 30. He's 15 years younger than me, but I had to find someone who could keep up, which when he gets into his story is funny. Cause when I first reached out to him, it was cause I wanted him on my team. Well, she's, speeding, <laughs> she's speeding up the grays guys. More grays. <laughs> but anyway, I actually, actually, when I first started seeing results, my ex-husband, I didn't know that he was conspiring behind my back. And he was talking to my upline who we went to high school was saying my, my wife would be so good at this. When I signed up, he told me it was network marketing. And I'm like, you asked me to do this. I will punch you in the face. I said, you've signed me up for skincare. And I told everyone to save their money that they didn't need it. You signed me up for some other company and they made me cry every day. I go, I do not want to do your network marketing stuff. And I told him, I said, I'm a counselor. My purpose from God is to help people. And he said, you're a depressed counselor on the couch. How is that working for you? I'm like, good point. I also couldn't take money from people for counseling. I felt like guilty or something. So anyway, I started feeling great. I always say I started in March of 2015, but I found out recently when my upline sent me a bracelet with a date on it. And I'm like, what is this date? She's like, that's the date you started. I started a month prior, but I didn't start sharing till March. So a month later, everyone who knew me was like, what are you on? I had so much energy. My body was changing. I felt great. I literally would look at people and say, it's legal and it works. And I ended up going silver, gold, and senior gold in two months, just saying it's legal and it worked not even knowing what I was telling people to take. (laughs) So that was the start. And I signed up for a convention, which was that June. And my ex-husband was like, this was, you know, right before I started sharing. I'm like, I told my upline, I would never share this with anyone. I call her back. I'm like, okay, what am I taking? Everybody wants it. And she said, you should come to convention. I'm like, okay, I'm in. So I booked it on a credit card. My ex-husband said, you don't have any money. How are you going to do that? He was kind of cheap. You know, he's, he's my best friend now. I'm not saying anything bad, but trying to make this fast. But I booked it and then went gold, senior gold, all before convention even happened. And I went to Phoenix, Arizona for convention. And my I'm a blue personality for anyone who knows that. My eyes opened up and I was like, this is what the world is supposed to be like. These are the kind of people I want to be around. And I went on and dove into self-development. I changed all of my friends to supportive good ones instead of the ones that used to put me down. I literally started following Tony Robbins. I hired an empowerment coach. I did all of the things. I went to every forum I could find because what I had to face next was what was in my mind. And that was my fear of people, like my people pleasing, my fear of what people thought. Because that summer, guys, I had people detoxing. I had people telling me it didn't work and I would cry. I would flat out cry. Now nobody can tell me this doesn't work. You know, like I have such confidence. But that summer, what I did to build belief was I just watched YouTubes all day long of testimonies, diamond docs, people's stories, till I built my belief so much that I knew it saved my life. But now I knew it could save everyone else's life. And from then on, I've never met a single person, he can vouch for it, that I haven't told about Plexus. Um, then everyone's hearing about it let me tell you that and and if you guys aren't doing self-development it's the number one biggest thing you need to do um for me i need organization and consistency right now but i i would go up a rank you know i went to ruby and then i go backwards for a year and then i go to senior ruby i go backwards for a year and then in at covid 2020 i had gone all the way back i think from senior ruby to ruby and then two months later went emerald and then went almost sapphire but Long story short, I'm now going backwards again and I am, I'm strong. I'm going to build it back up because as long as you have the belief and as long as you know that it can work for you and that you are blessing people's lives, you can't fail. You, you know, you, you can't as long as you don't quit and you just keep failing forward. I guess you should fail, but fail forward. Um, I'll let him tell his story real quick and then we'll talk about some of the things that we'd like to share with you guys. To, to... And if you do fail, guys. Failing is a big part of success. You have to fail in order to succeed. You know, and sometimes you're going to fail a lot and you just have to keep going until one day you're succeeding and you're winning and you're like, look how far I came. You know, and Plexus, Plexus completely changed my life. Like, sometimes it's unbelievable to me to even look at my life in the way it is now. 
I get paid to, to just talk to people and be myself and help people. And I always wanted to help people. And a lot of you know my story, some of it from uh, Leaders Retreat. But my past helped me back a lot. And I wasn't able to help people because I was a felon and I spent time in prison. And I was very limited on what I could do. You know, I wanted to help kids, couldn't do that because I was a felon. I wanted to be a personal trainer, had, had the certifications, but I couldn't work at a gym because I was a felon. And I was very limited, but I knew I had potential. And I always knew it was gonna work out, I had faith. And opportunities started coming to me. And it's, it's crazy when you believe that things are gonna work out, they start working out and things start coming to you. And then one day I meet her and I was really struggling when I met her. And since, since uh, it's not, it doesn't have to be compliant, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. When I met her, I was at one of the hardest points in my life. Um, I just got evicted from my house and I moved into a 500 square foot apartment in Detroit downtown. And I was very depressed. I had a gun to my head the week that I met her and I always struggled with depression my entire life. But one day she, uh, she convinced me to start taking Plexus and I was like, yeah, whatever, network marketing, not really into it, but I'll do it for you because you want to win an iPad. And so I, I started taking the products and then within a month, I was like, I'm starting to feel normal. Like, I feel good, I'm happy. You know, I, I finally got to experience what happiness is. Like I was smiling for no reason, just joyful. I'm walking by people like, hey, how's it going? And they're like, that's not me, like at, at the time. But now I'm like a totally different person. And Plexus like transformed my life in so many different ways, not just financially, but it made me step, step up as a leader and become more and be a better person. And to actually use my heart and get involved with people. You know, like I don't look at people as a dollar sign. I look at them like, how can I help you? What do you need? You know, like, what can I do to serve you? And that's a big part of my success is showing up as a servant and helping people, expecting nothing in return, just because you want to be there for them and do God's work. And that's why I love being with her because we do it together. And it's honestly the best job in the world. I hate, I hate to even say it's a job, but it's, I mean, it is in a sense, but it's like, I don't, I don't even consider it that, I don't know. <laughs> but let's just say it. But I love that we get to do it together and we work together and we help people together and change lives together. And the most rewarding thing that we get to hear is that people say, thank you for changing their life. You know, there, there's people out there that are, that are suffering and they need us. You know, someone's at home crying right now, not knowing what to do, but you have the answers. You know, and we got to remember that and remind ourselves every single day and every morning when we wake up that we have a solution to people's problems. And we have to go give the solution because they're not just going to come to you. You have to go knocking on their door like, hey, how are you? What's going on? Like, no, you're really good? No, I want to know the truth because people say they're good, but they're not good. You know, we're all struggling in one way or another. And you need to be the person that's, that's like, no, I want to really know how you're feeling. Like, what's really going on? How's your family? You know, like, what's, what's below the surface that you can see? And I guess that's all I got, really. The first time I called him, guys, I was telling him he should join me. And he's like, yeah, oh, no. I had so many excuses, guys. He gave me 20 excuses in one. Well, I can't drive. Well, I'm a felon. Well, I wouldn't be any good at this. And I'm like, I hung up. And I'm like, and my friend was like, how is that called? I go, lost cause. <laughs> <laughs> so don't give up. You know, I'm not saying yeah. date all the people you're trying to. Let me I tell you guys, I, I did not want to do it. I was like, I'm not doing this. It's not for me. It, like, I, I just don't see myself being a network marketer, but I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to do it because this is the best business in the world, guys. You get blessed. You get blessed to bless other people. Mm -hmm. You know, like the money is unreal. There's a lot of money to be made. And it's not just about money, but there's a lot of people to help, you know, and, and that's even bigger of a reward. Yeah. And for us, we love to travel. So we and travel, travel and meet lots of people. And that's such a blessing. Um, yeah. And then and then as a 1099 employee, you can write that off as a business expense. You know what I mean? I'm talking to people about Plexus. Let's write it off. But um, so anyway, when we when I know Brittany had said to talk about our comfort zone, and that is a huge thing, because for me, seven years in, I've done more self-development than anything. And I swear there's still more and more, you know, at first it was how do I talk to people about this? And I would be sitting in line at a store, like how do I compliment them or bring up Plexus? And then I realized I don't need to do that. I just need to love people, mm -hmm. but naturally it comes out anyway. So I began with not minding telling the whole world about Plexus, but I didn't want to follow up with them because I didn't want them to think I was a salesperson. And then I realized <laughs> that if you don't follow up, I would have people 
I would have people who would tell me that they had been waiting six months for me to call them. And I'm like, oh, I thought it was just like Jesus. Like I share the good news and you want it or you don't, you know? Like, so now I realize I'm calling people and inviting them to church every week. I'm also calling people and asking them if they're okay. You know, if they need, if they want to revisit this. And, and that's the thing with follow-up. And I will tell you guys, I'm going to admit, I was the worst. And it was the story in my head was that I was bad at follow-ups. And I used that story for so many years. My upline probably wanted to give up on me. I'm like, well, I just don't follow up with people good, right? I had so many insecurities that I was afraid I'd sign someone up and I'd be afraid to reach back out. I would reach back out and I would just talk to them about whatever, anything but Plexus because I had these stories in my head that I didn't want them to think I only cared about making a sale. But in return, I was failing them. They were joining me and trusting me with their health or with their business. And I was not talking about it. So now, of course, I tell them, I love you. I want to hear about your life. But I also am here to talk about your products or talk about your business and help you with that. But you know, that's all pushing your comfort zone. I remember the first live video I did. Now I get on and I talk about nothing sometimes. And I always have the same rule. If you can serve one person, that's all that matters. And maybe it's yourself. Maybe you needed that pep talk you were going to give on a live video today, you know? Um, and I do lives that aren't about Plexus. I do a lot of li lives on mindset, but I will always, you know, mention Plexus in it. And I always get people to reach out to me about it, you know? Um, because people don't want to be sold to, but they want to hear your story and they want to know about the crap you went through. You know, they say like, you can take your trash and make it your treasure or your mess and make it your message. Like take what you've been through and show people how you're either getting through it right now or how, how you got through it in the past. Um, I'm a really, really do. big believer in take messy action, you know, <laughs> just show up messy. And this diamond sprint group that Brittany and I are in, I really had to learn like, I was not the, the most faithful poster. And now I'm like, ah, what can I just put up there? And I, some of the posts that I put up in two seconds, I'm like, how did that do so well? <laughs> but I also had to learn that likes don't mean much, you know, like people, I had a girl and I'm only going to share this with you because it made me cry two weeks ago who joined me, who said, I met her in an airport three years ago, a month later, her husband died. And she said that I got her through the death of her husband. And I said, I don't really know you. And she's like, you know, I didn't say that, but I was like, how? And she goes, I've been following you on Facebook for years. And I was waiting for an opportunity and you did a post saying who wants to join me. And I've always wanted to do what you're doing. So it took her three years of watching me saying that I was her best friend who got her through the death of her husband and she wanted to join me, but I didn't do a lot of asks, you know, <laughs> but there's people watching, even if you don't know it and people will quit because they're not ready, but they will come back on. When I, when someone quits, I always say, you know, like, I love you. I can't wait. You're going to call me in a year and you're going to be back. And it always happens, you know? So it's like, it has to be on people's timing. And that's something I had to realize. You can't want something for someone. And I love, Brittany, I loved when Jen Viev told us, like, you may message 10 people and it might not be for them right now. It might be for them later, but you're looking for that 10th person that's been up at 3 a.m. crying about how they're going to pay their bills or about the pain they're in. Of course you want a boob now, don't you? <laughs> you want to talk for a minute? And then, hey. mm. But, oh, I oh, yeah. So what I wanted to tell you guys was that if you want this to work, you have to show up as yourself and be authentic and make it work for you because what's working for the next person isn't what's going to work for you. You have to find your own strategies and your own way of showing up. And you don't want to just copy someone's message and then post it as your own. You know, you want to, you want to be authentic, speak from the heart and just focus on helping other people and the words will come out and everything just starts to flow guys. It's crazy. It really is. So one of the coolest things I learned well, I always knew this, but I loved the way my friend talked about it on this call. She said, do you consider what you're doing transactional, transactional or transformational? Do you know when you're calling someone you're about to transform their lives? Or do you think you're trying to sell them something? That was a big thing for me because I used to think salespeople were bad. And then I had a friend who was a real estate agent who said that he follows up so well because if they go to someone else, they're not going to get as good of support. They're not going to get for us. For us, they're not going to get as good as products. I cry every time I see someone that I didn't reach out to that started taking A, B, or C of other people's products. I don't talk bad about people, but like when we know what's in their products and we're like, oh, I could have been that person and got them. And I, I always know they'll come around anyway, so I don't sweat it. But it's like, 
we should be in a rush to go tell the world about this, right? Yeah. And then the stories in our head, I did a lot of work around stories. So we all tell ourselves stories, right? So the old me, the I used to be this insecure people pleaser. And if I messaged Brittany and Brittany didn't message me back, I'd be like, oh, maybe she's mad at me. Oh, she must not like me. Oh, she, she doesn't like my products, whatever the story was. So then I started learning to get rid of stories, but sometimes it's hard to completely get rid of them. So now I make up good ones. Brittany's really busy, man. She cannot wait till she has enough time to talk to me. So she's waiting till, and sure enough, you know, um, I literally, when Gen Biev first challenged us to reach out to your like three or four big, scary people, I reached out to one of the top fitness people in all of Canada. And I looked and I had messaged her nine times, nine months in a row, every month with no response. And I thought I've never followed up like that, but I was really proud of myself, even though I got no responses. So I did it one more time and she messaged me back and she said, I am definitely going to join you. I love your determination. She goes, but I feel guilty because I should have responded. The reason I didn't is I didn't want to tell you no, because I know it's a yes. It just, my daughter was sick and it wasn't the right time. And I was waiting for the right time. And I was like, oh my God. Now she still hasn't joined me, but every I've messaged her the last two months since. And she said, I promise you it's going to be happening soon. And when it does, you know, that's going to be my next amazing, incredible person, you know, like, so you can't have these stories. Like I really did probably by month eight or nine go, okay, nope. Turn that story around. You know, even when people used to look at me, I'd be like, oh, they're talking bad about me. Now I'm like, they're looking at my biceps. I think, you know, like just make it a good story. Everybody needs this. And people are busy guys. We forget to respond to people all the time. I ask people to stalk me. I'm like, please remind me 20 more times, you know, like, <laughs> so, I mean, that is a big thing I had to learn. I'm just sharing with you guys some of the things I learned. Oh, another thing I loved. Brittany, how long have you been in Plexus? Long time? Seven years. Okay. So the same time about, so when mm -hmm. I first signed up, I remember Celeste Gwen doing this, this, this live. And for me to remember something for seven years, it must've stood out, but I've heard the story since. And it was about like, if there's gold in your backyard, have you heard that one? I heard out, her say that. I heard yeah, her say that. You're going to go out and you're going to dig for gold, right? Are you going to give up in a day or a week? Are you going to hit a couple of hard spots and not, or would you keep digging if you knew you could make six figures or, you know, half a million or whatever? How long would you dig for before you gave up? And I, that always stuck with me. So even though I wasn't always the best, I was always, I've consistently talked about Plexus every single day of my life for seven years. I wasn't always as consistent. I just like to admit my flaws to people. I wasn't always as consistent with like sticking with really working hard, but now I know, you know, I already knew there was gold and I was going to keep digging, but now I want to do it faster and better. Um, sorry, go on. It's okay, puppies. I wanted to say that this, this business is so different from a lot of other businesses because you can jump into this business and just start making money right away. You don't have to know everything. You got all the resources you need in the back office and you got the community to help you help you get going. Like as I'm, I'm sure, uh, Brittany, are you, you're the leader of the call. So is this your team? I think. Yes. It? Okay. So you guys got Brittany. Brittany will help you with whatever you need. You know, she'll help you guys get going, show you what you need to do, show you how to talk to people. And Plexus is a, is a huge family guys. We all want to help each other and, get people building their business, helping one another, you know, and it's, it's just an awesome company to be a part of. And it's almost like family. Yeah. We so, even have a couple of girls on our team that have said that they basically bought friends because they joined for our community. They didn't really care about the products or making the extra money. Now they have fallen in love with our community, the products, and they're making really good money on the side as well. So the community is huge for sure if you guys haven't been to convention you need to go guys we got convention coming up in june it's going to be amazing i love it especially the men out there you need to get going to these because there is no better community than a plexus community and there's no better party than a plexus party let me tell you guys so you need to go you need to sign up this week sign up and then go book a room guys seriously yes I um, have to say, I would like to be part of your team. Look at them all showing up. Yeah. <laughs> like you've got a ton of people on here. That means you must be the greatest leader on earth or you uh, just no. really amazing. It's, it's a team effort. It's team effort. I, I'm really blown away. I think your team looks awesome. I would, I would challenge them to put their cameras on next time. <laughs> most of them, most of them are probably naked in the bath, honestly. Oh. <laughs> This yeah. is bath time for a lot of us. <laughs> it's our mom wine down time. They got a glass of wine and they're chilling in the bath. Oh, I there's thought about that. Going like that tonight, but mm -hmm. wouldn't be a good idea. 
But I, I love that you said that because that's why you can't rule any person out, you know, the community. Some people need the community. I remember one time I was on a power hour and it was like, message all the people in your Facebook with A's, right? Or whoever's on right now. I messaged this guy. I'm like, I know you're already fit. You're already healthy. You already have a lot of money. You probably don't need what I want, but you might want to meet all these girls. He messaged me back. He's like, actually, I'm trying to get more fit and I can always use more money. And yes, girls are great, <laughs> you know, like whatever it was, because it was like a challenge to figure out what you could possibly say that would like intrigue this person. Yeah. <laughs> he ended up joining, you know, and he used to come to all our events. And, it was... and you, you never know who's going to be good at this business, guys. You can't just look at someone and say they're going to be good because the person that you're saying is not going to be good is probably going to be good, which is insane. It happened to us plenty of times. So you can't judge a book by its cover. You never Absolutely. know. Absolutely. I'm trying to read through these comments yeah. if anyone has questions and stuff too. Yeah, I was just going to say if anybody has any questions for them, unmute yourself or you can type it in the chat um, if you want as well. I love all of this. Yeah, and I saw somebody said something about the fitness. Like, I never meant to be a pro fitness competitor. So I would meet people. In the, so I've had people on our team before. I don't know if you guys have ever had this. They're like, well, I don't look like you. So I can't share this. And I'm like, are you kidding? People look at me and they're like, but I don't want to be that muscular. It's not going to do that. Right. And I'm like, I used to lose people because they would take the products. And after two weeks be like, I didn't get a six pack. I'm like, did you go to the gym? I mean, like, like, like <laughs> these products gave me the energy to work out and then, you know, balanced my gut and got me to lose the weight. So you could see the muscles. <laughs> but mm -hmm. anyway. Oh, um, Alyssa wants to hear a quick financial testimony. Okay. Ours. Well, here's a good one. My ex-husband who introduced me to this, he's still, you know, my first ambassador and we're still best friends and he'll drive two hours if he runs out of Vital Biome to get to my house to get it. But um, he literally, I had no money back then because I was doing counseling for free as a stay-at-home mom. And he got me to do this business telling me I'd be good at it. And he was right because I love people. Like, that's just my thing. I love every person I meet. I don't know a stranger. Um, I always thought that what I was bad at was the organization and follow up, but that can all be worked on, you know, <laughs> still working on the organization, but that remarkable tablet's going to help me <laughs> anyway. But when I went to get divorced, I looked at my ex-husband and I, you know, I loved him, but we grew separately, you know, and I, I knew right then. And I told my empowerment coach, I said, if I take a dime from him, he's going to hate me forever. But if I take nothing, I will have peace and love for the rest of my life. And so I went and told that judge I was going to take nothing. And he told me I was crazy. And he said, are, are you nuts? And I said, I just want peace and love. And I will tell you, I told my empowerment coach, if I can go Emerald by next year, I will be able to survive. I will be able to afford this house. And by exactly one year later to that month, I went Emerald. And mm -hmm. my ex-husband is my best friend. And we parent so well together. And we love each other to death as friends. But I swear, if I hadn't had Plexus, I would have had to have taken his money. And he would have not been, I've not been so happy. So that's a big one for me. Yeah, no that one is awesome. That. I got chills too. Alyssa just said chills. I literally got chills. That's it was awesome. a huge thing for me. And, uh, and now we all have a great relationship. And if you guys didn't hear when I met him and he started Plexus, he lived in a 500 square foot apartment with cockroaches, mm -hmm. cockroaches, guys. We called them his friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if that doesn't tell you from there to Emerald within two years. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> So you are, or you're both Emerald now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, see, that's goals again. Like I, so I'm Emerald, Marissa, Sapphire, Natalie is Senior Ruby, and Alyssa is Ruby. And we, like all of us on, on our team, we're all going to be jewels, but we would all love to be jewel families and us and our husbands be able to be jewels. That is just is so fun. If you guys can get your husbands to do this, there is nothing more fun. I used to get jealous when I would see like mother daughters or best friends that did it. Cause my mom's like, she wouldn't sign up till he was going Emerald. Like she won't do anything I do. You know, like, so when they say, tell people, you just grab your mom and your sister. I'm like, my sister dead. My mom wouldn't do it if I paid her, you know? So, um, but like, seriously to have your partner do it with you is like a whole different experience. It's awesome. I mean, you do have to set some boundaries around working because one or the other wants to work all the time. And or the other, or I'm trying to get him not to work because I'm like a child and I want to play. But, uh, I have to stay busy. I mean. <laughs> but it is the biggest blessing. So if you can get the guys to convention and to the men of Plexus, I would say that is like the best route to go to get them inspired, yeah. you know? 
And yes. I do know a lot of husband wives teams where the man just like brings the woman, the people and the woman signs them up. But like he actually, he's on Facebook making new friends. He was signing up a girl today that he met because he commented on her post. You know, we go on vacation, we meet people together, but he does just as much to support our, our team as I do. That's awesome. I mean, I'd be stupid not to guys. This is an awesome opportunity and you get paid to help people, like I said. And, you know, there's so many different ways you could do it. We have access to... 8.5 billion people in the world, you know, from, from our phone. And you got people saying, Oh, I, I, I can't find three people. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> when people no. tell me that they don't have, they don't know enough people. I'm like, yeah. I can't stop knowing people and I'm social, but even if you're not social, like it's, yeah. I feel like it's hard to not meet people. And if you're not social, yeah. just try to be social. And then one day you'll find out that you are social, you know, you just got to keep building it. It's like anything. It takes mm -hmm. work. Yeah. Nice well, I thank you guys so one much. Last thing, one last thing for you guys. When your husband yeah. wants it too, we each get to bring someone to Hawaii with us. Yeah. Like, how cool is that? Yeah. That leaders yeah. retreat. We each got to bring someone to leaders retreat. Mm -hmm. Like, that's fun, just so you know. Yes. <laughs> All right, go on. Sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. I was just going to say, th I, I really appreciate you guys doing this with us. I know a lot of the girls on our team definitely took away a lot and they're going to go and tell their hubbies that their butts are going to convention. I know Natalie's hubby is coming. Um, mine is still up in the air, but it's not because he doesn't want to go. He always wants to go to all the Plexus events. He just has to pick and choose because he's not enrolled yet. So he can't just take off work whenever. <laughs> oh, this is really funny. When my ex-husband and I got divorced, he told me the thing that made him the most sad was that he wasn't going to get to go to Plexus Leaders Retreats anymore. <laughs> and I was like, you know, you're one of my ambassadors. You can, <laughs> you can go earn it. But that was the thing he was most sad about. If the, I don't know if that's better about Plexus or worse about it. <laughs> <laughs> they do know how to throw a party that is for sure yeah, right. yes oh, well, all right well i, I will let you guys, guys um i'll let you guys go um yeah. thank you Everyone so much again hi to hey, Brittany. Us. Brittany. yeah Brittany. i'm gonna play really quick and then we yes can walk off. i was gonna ask you that Ooh. yes thank you so much noel like and you're like the hype girl of plexus by the way like everybody loves you and in hawaii like you just are sunshine um, in in human form, and I just want you to know that because there's a lot of people that um, I know can be very judgmental and very and and you are just sunshine. And like I I remember telling Brittany like I love her. Like there are some people that are like um who is this? Do you remember her well? Like. Do you remember doing fancy, the fancy like dance in Mexico at the pool? Me and Marissa were the ones that started that. I did not realize that. But yes, I go, I want to be friends with them. They are yeah. the, fun we ones. Were the and ones that and, did it. And you know, you said that earlier about like you changed, like you knew you wanted this and you changed who you surrounded yourself with. And I think that that's huge for a lot of people because um, a lot of people, you know, with personal development and they just think it's supposed to magically happen. They're supposed to just magically make this money. And, um, I like that you reiterated that because having a, uh, completely different set of a friend group that is so supportive and encouraging that changes your mindset, you know, and you want to sit around a table with people that are loving and encouraging. And so, um, I just wanted you to know that I know that you, I, we don't really I, know each other, but no, I want to thank you because I told Dan, cause he's like, we're so busy. Why are we doing this? I go, because this is going to inspire us. And you just made me like so happy because I'm not everyone's cup of tea, but I do love lots of people, but it's funny because I wanted to ask if I could pray when we started, but I'm so glad that you're going to pray at the end. No, and I no, also, no, no. I, Hey, I want you, I want you to no, do no, it. No, I want you to pray. It's cool. But I want okay. to hang out with you guys at convention because I thought that in, in Mexico, I was like, they're my people yes. <laughs> and, and who you surround yourself with. When I first shared Plexus at my first time telling people about it, they all laughed at me. They all joined me a year later. But that's when I knew I needed new friends, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I love that. I love that. All right. Let me pray really quick and we, we can hop up. Lord, thank you so much for um, Noelle and her husband. And thank you for Brittany um, just being inspired by them to ask them to hop on our call. And Lord, you spoke through them tonight. You gave them the words to, to say so that we could be encouraged and we can go into May with a new mindset and a fresh start to know that we do have something that can change the world. And like she said, we do have something that can 
transform people's lives and can help others and just help us to be bold in that and know that you put us here for a reason, you put us here for a purpose, help us to grow uh, in, such a, in such a big way this month to just be more bold about you and our relationship with you and just being intentional with our time with you to put you first in everything that we do. And Lord, just, I thank you for Noelle and her family and just all that you've done in their life and that she got to hop on and share and, and just speak life into our team and, and just bring them confidence and knowing that anybody can do this. It doesn't matter where you came from. Uh, just like her husband said, you know, there's hope for every single person on this call and everybody out there in the world that we can be the light in their life. And Lord, just um, thank you for everything you do for us. Help us to have a good week. Thank you for your love and forgiveness in Jesus name. Amen. All right. Thank y'all so much for hopping on. Thank Noel, you. thank you. Love you, girl. Thank you, you guys. Awesome. You guys are amazing. You too. Thanks. Thanks.